Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you once again more Rakugo videos. Today, the new episode has arrived, and it gives us some romantic drama. I want to call it here. Bon, you're probably going to lose. You're, you're definitely going to lose Mio. You, you definitely will. Before this is all said and done, I know for a fact you're probably going to lose her, because... The what you showed her in this episode with the cold shoulder and how you kind of pushed her away, that's definitely going to make her to where she will no longer love you and she probably won't wait on you and she'll probably get with someone you least expected, Hatsu. I could see something like that happening before the series is done and when he comes back he sees them in a relationship and he'll realize his, the error of his ways and the mistake he made when he pushed her away. So... Let's talk about that. That's one of the main points of discussion that really needs to be dived into. So, Mio as a character, she has kind of constantly wanted to be with Bon. You see throughout recent episodes, she's kind of trying to hit on him. She's trying to be with him. She's trying to, you know, just get together with him, go out with him. And Bon constantly throughout his entire demeanor, it's like he's shoving her away or he just has no interest whatsoever. For instance, he's more focused on his, his job or his career or more along the lines of his goal, what he is going to do with his life. And honestly, I can... I can respect Bond for that. I, I can respect Bond for wanting to go after his dream, his goal, what he wants to fulfill for his life. For instance, Rakugo. I can respect that. But sometimes, it, is it really worth it, ruining these relationships on the side? For instance, you know, Mio's relationship with you for that goal you have set out. How many people are you willing to trample over until you feel like you're satisfied with your goal? That's the main point of discussion that, you know, this episode brings up. And I mean, I wonder if this is going to be a reoccurring thing with Bond. For instance, is he going to be giving things up to be able to accomplish his goal of, you know, being a better performer for Rakugo? Or is this the only first and last time we're going to see something like that? But I can definitely see to where this is going to play against Bond, to where he won't probably ever have someone to be with, and also how Mio is going to go over to his older brother. Now, off that subject, Bon, he's definitely grown quite a bit. I mean, he's able to carry himself with Rakugo, he's able to do performances, and be able to do his brother's Rakugo when he's not even there, when he's skipping out. And I mean, you get to see a lot of growth with him and how much he's able to carry himself compared to how he was in previous episodes. I talked about this a little bit in the last week's video, but seeing Bon growing it's just so nice to see like how he started off kind of like me like a very like mad type rakugo and when you look at this episode like he's able to carry it and i'm able to be interested and i'm like oh my god this is awesome it just it allows you to appreciate his character so much more and his character is getting a whole lot more complicated than it was in the earlier portions of the series because i mean at first we saw a uh, Kind of like an asshole old man. That, that's kind of how it looked like. How Bond's character was perceived to the audience in the first episode. And as the episodes carry on, we see more into the inner psyche of his, you know, thoughts. And we get to see what he's currently doing or what he's striving for. What he wants to do about certain things. And also how he, you know, handles his situation with his brother, Hatsu. So... Overall, this episode, once again, was good characterization and character development for Bond, along with showing, once again, how Bond is taking steps to f further his goals to better plateaus than he was in the past. Let's talk about Bond's trip. So, Bond's going to be going on a trip. He's going to be taking a huge tour around the region, and we don't really get a time frame of how long he's going to be gone, but assuming the way the scene was done when he kind of reveals this to Mio, it lets you assume that it's probably going to be for a good while. Maybe like a year, maybe a couple maybe a couple months, maybe a year, maybe two years, who knows. But judging by the way the scene was done, like, you know, you heard no dialogue, we didn't get to hear the time frame, but you just see Mio walk back and she gets upset and starts crying and stuff. It definitely added emotions. I just did not expect to feel emotions there as well. I mean, you know, seeing Mio cry like that and how she's like, I'll wait on you, I'll wait on you every night, I'll stay up late waiting for you to come at the very least spend some time. It made me sad. I was really sad when I saw him like, yo, I like that that romance, that, that fucking romance. That's pretty damn sad just seeing how the relationship probably is going to end here thanks to that decision. And it just makes me wonder, Bond, was it really worth it? Was it worth it in the end for what you're trying to achieve? We'll have to see, though, because, I mean, we do know eventually from, the, you know, the first episode that Hatsu will 
get some form of daughter. We, we saw that in the first episode, if I'm remembering correctly. So, I'm willing to bet maybe Mio is the person that gets with Hatsu. That's why I'm making that assumption. So, we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.